Okay, I'm a forester here, and we're going to try to demonstrate grafting. This is a loblolly pine tree, and we're going to try to put a graft right in this area right here. Before we do anything, let's strip some of the needles away so we can see what we're doing. It's a little breezy out here. I hope the noise doesn't uh, isn't too distracting. Okay. We're going to make a cut right here. That's where we're going to make the, the uh, splice. Okay, here's the Victorinox grafting knife that you saw that I was sharpening. I've been using it all day today, so it's not nearly as sharp as it was in that video. Okay, we're going to cut right down through the center, and that's where the graft's going to go. We want to cut about three inches or so. Now, if this clothespin will fit, I'm going to use that to hold that together. This is the scion. This is from a tree, a selection that we want to put out in our orchard. It doesn't match up with the rootstock, so we're just going to have to match the cambium on one side, not both sides. Okay, I'm going to cut this about to the right length. And now we're going to cut this into a wedge shape that will fit down in that graft. In that, uh, so we're going to come in and head toward the center and then run down the center. Just like that. The green area is the cambium and that's what we want to match up with the cambium on the rootstock. Now we're going to make a cut over here just like it and try to match meet in the center. pretty good. Okay, let's see how well they fit. I'm sure you can't see that, but they fit pretty well. Now we're going to use that clothespin to hold them together so they don't dry out. And this is a grafting rubber band. I got one in my mouth and one in that I'll use and we just start wrapping it at the bottom and overlap it a little bit so it doesn't come unraveled. And some of these needles are getting away but that's okay. I'm going to have to move that closed pin. Now there's a rule of grafting and that's that a rubber band is not going to go. It's going to go to the top and run out. And this one's probably going to do that also. So I'm going to go ahead and start the next one right here. Overlap it. And I'm putting a little bit of tension on this band as I pass it over, pass it around. Now I'm going to crisscross on back down because I left a few openings. Okay, and then I'll tie it off at the bottom. All right. Now we want, don't want to forget what that, what this tree is. So we do a tag. This is the name of this tree, 18-268, with today's date. And I'll add my name to it. And we always put this tag just below the graph so that if one of these takes off, if the tag was down here, we might not know um, if this was part of the graft or not. There's one more step, and that's to take a roll of parafilm, tear off a piece, this parafilm prevents the graft from desiccating out here in the sun and you just stretch it and wrap stretch it and wrap go on up and cover the top of the graft and then back down and seal it off and that's a graft
in about two weeks we'll know whether this part is going to take. It'll start growing. Now this part was dipped in wax to prevent the uh, buds from desiccating. Have a good day.